told you a little bit about this last week about something that's going on in the city of Des Moines. A lot of people want to become firefighters. We know that Jackie and this is such an incredible profession and there's an opportunity for you to become a firefighter. So we decided that we're going to bring in the fire chief to give us all the details. Uh, fire chief John to keep joining us. Good to see you, sir. So uh, we're going to find out what you guys are doing because you're in the recruiting stage right now, right? Yes, we are. This is an important time. This is the time when we get to make our case as to why everyone should take a look at us and see if they want to join the Des Moines Fire Department family. And wh but why is there such a big push right now? Like literally, if you look up and see a billboard, it's talking about this. If you, uh, you know, open up the newspaper or anything, you're seeing that there's a big push for recruitment. Why right now? And why are you looking for so many? Part of, part of the reason that we're doing our hiring now and, and we'll be doing some more in the future is that uh, we can look out and we know that people are going to retire and, mm -hmm. and different things over the next year or two. Okay. And our process takes some time. It takes a few months to get through our process. Okay. And the training takes some time. So we have to take advantage of our about one month window to get our, our name out there to drum up the interest because uh, not everyone starts off as a firefighter and you don't have to be a firefighter to join the fire department. Okay, we're, we're looking, there's different levels. Well, we're looking for people that are that are ethical and hardworking and they have, a, uh, they have passion to make a difference. Okay. We can teach the rest. All right, so yeah. you know, firefighter is just one of the occupations that you could become by joining the uh, Des Moines Fire Department. Everyone starts off as a firefighter, but then there's different jobs that, that a person could do, driving ah. the apparatus, being a medic on the, on the ambulance, Got uh, it. becoming a, an officer or another leader type position. But everyone starts off being a firefighter, but you don't have to be a firefighter to apply, and that's really important. Uh, okay. 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 There well, you go. Well, we're going to prove this that's this right. morning with Lou <laughs> yes. all dressed up. I do have another question for you, though. Coming from a very small town, uh, originally, all of our firefighters were pretty much volunteer mm -hmm. or part-time. Is this a full-time gig, or is this something, hey, when you hear the bell ring or you get the text message, you have to jump, stop what you're doing and, and run? Sure, this is a full-time gig. This is a full-time gig, is full -time okay. Gig. Yep. okay. Full-time pay and, and benefits and, and pension system and insurance and all those kinds wow. of things, yes. Okay, just okay. wanted to make that clear for everybody out there. So if you're looking for a new opportunity or maybe you've thought about this, mm -hmm. now's the time to inquire, right, correct? Absolutely. Okay, so how did they get that process started? Is it an online application? Do they need to stop in and see you? How does that work? The, the way you get your, your information is to start off at dmgov.org. Okay, you're right there. And you'll, you'll find employment opportunities on there, and that's how you make contact with the Human Resources Department of the City of Des Moines. Mm -hmm. And they have a phone number that is uh, 283 four. Two one three. I'm pretty sure is the number if okay. I said that right, and, and they can answer all of the em employment type of questions. But right. our outreach is also to have people uh, feel comfortable to reach out to talk to us because maybe you've always thought about becoming a firefighter. Mm -hmm. You think this might be the thing, but you haven't had the opportunity because there wasn't a volunteer opportunity in your town, right, um, or something like that. And you want to talk with a firefighter, say, tell me about the job. Can you right. show me some of the equipment? Show me what this is about because I, th I think I'm the right person for okay. it. Okay, and you guys um, have an open house coming up where people can uh, experience all this, right? Absolutely. Okay. On Saturday, January 26th, right. from nine in the morning until two mm -hmm. in the afternoon, people can come in. They can see the okay. the process we use for testing. They can talk individually with firefighters uh, about what it's like to do the work. Um, there, there's some stereotypes out there that that, that don't help. Some t sometimes. Uh, uh, women don't feel like that they can step into what could be a stereotypically masculine role. Right. And we have uh, female firefighters that are just as awesome as everyone else. But this is an opportunity to come and ask those kinds of questions that say, how do I fit in? I want to. I want to be here, and we want to be able to answer those. I questions. I love that. So that's next Saturday, uh, I've, I've, or just contact you guys, and you'll be able to answer some questions, or hopefully we're able to answer some questions for you this morning. So right. it, pretend like this is the open house. What would you be showing us uh, besides how Me good you look in up this like uh, uniform? Well, one other thing I want to point out too, <laughs> uh, you know, being a, a firefighter and being on the Des Moines Fire Department, that's an, an incredible job, but it pays rather well at the same time. So people have to keep that in mind too, right? It, I think that we we yeah. we, we, pair, we pay a fair wage. Right. It's, it's north of sixty thousand dollars a year to start. There you go. And and it, but it's a hazardous job. It's right. Like, it's, it's serious. Yep. Uh, we're we're a family that works as a team and, and we take care of each other. 
but we face hazards together, right. and, and mm -hmm. part of that part of that pay is is the recognition the of that risk. Okay, yes. so All besides right, go. uh, besides looking good in a okay, uniform so here, what else do we need? What to are we going to show you here? Now we have uh, somebody down here. Um, <laughs> I think Mickey's going to give us a hand. Uh, and, and, and Mickey, who do you have laying down here? Uh, this is Rescue Randy here. Rescue, Rescue Randy. Randy. Yeah, this is his name. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to show you I'm just uh, oh, so my job you. in the Des Moines Fire Department is to uh, part of my job is to train people. So when they come in, you don't have to have an experience. So you're a lieutenant, right? I'm a lieutenant. Okay. Yep. In a training division, so uh, new people come in, and we put them through a, about a year-long academy. And so, part of what you're going to learn to do is use some of the tools that we have here, okay. and even all right, victims, Lieutenant so. Mickey, show me what to do. So you're going to get behind him like this. All right, put your knee behind him, and just kind of grab with your hands in the middle here. Put your knee, okay, get, knee him in the go. back, okay. Yep. And okay. then you're just going to stand and drag him. All right, Mickey, how he's, much does that weigh? Yeah, he's heavy. I would say yeah. he's about 160 pounds. Yeah, okay. at least. So he's I, about all I want. Oh, that's for geez. sure. I was trying to lift him coming in here, and I. I I have to say, I wasn't doing it properly or just ah, needed There you go. Yep. Work. Use your. My gosh. You're doing great. 160. So they. So we got this part here now. All right. When we get we get done with them. Now we got them out of the, the, the harm's way. Then we take them and we just dump them, right? Like yeah. You start, no, <laughs> okay. we're not going to want to no. dump them like that. We're going to want to set them down gently, okay. and then we might have, uh, have some medical attention to them. That's okay. We better we get some equipment here. Yeah. We got some medical equipment. We got so a boom we, box over here, right? Yeah. We got a boom box. Now, here. what this, is that? This can actually uh, restart the heart, or it can check your heart rate. It does a whole lot of other functions. So um, we would uh, put them in the ambulance and find out what's going on with them. And uh, by the way, I just want to let you folks know this is very warm. Warm. It is very warm. <laughs> all, I did, heavy Jack, all I did was pull the uh, rescue Randy sweating? over here, and I'm sweating right and now. And you're not even it in a fire suit. And it's you have to wear these the all the time, even in the summertime. Even in the summertime. All this yeah. gear with the Nomex and everything underneath it, too, yeah. right? Yeah, you get used to it, though. Okay. Well, Jackie, you got to see if you can do some things okay. here, too, because... Uh, Chief, uh, uh, if... let me borrow his gloves. So okay. what, what's something that I would have to be able to be comfortable with uh, doing? Well, a couple of things. We, we go to fires. The city of Des Moines has about 300 a year. We also do about 16,000 emergency medical runs, wow. which is why the paramedic training is so important. Sure. And some of those are, include car accidents yeah. where, where we extricate someone mm -hmm. from a car. We don't just pull them out. Sometimes we have to cut the car away from them. Correct. Okay. So we brought a couple of our tools. Oh, here. These, these, are are like are these, these are the jaws of life. These are the jaws of life. Yeah, this is the, the spreader, the tool mm -hmm. that can move metal apart, and this is a cutting tool. And so, so you so can get you a, a feel for what, uh, what that's like. <laughs> oh jeez! I'm not gonna let go. Uh, I, I think you'll be safe if you do. It's just really she's strong, heavy. <laughs> So, okay, um, so it, it's safe to say, as you mentioned, uh, women can do this job and very successfully. Absolutely. But it, it's a matter of getting used to how best to use your body so you can handle heavier objects like this when it comes into an emergency situation, correct? Yeah, I think it's important for people to come in and, and know that they can practice the test that we give, the mm -hmm. physical exam. Right. Okay. And the test is not, it's not to say that a person already knows how to be a firefighter, it's to see if you have the physical skills to learn it. Got it. Because okay. when a person starts in the academy, we, we, we get them up to speed physically and we, we feed it to them as they can as they can consume it. See, so. I love that. I, I like yeah. the, what you said earlier. You don't have to be a oh, firefighter you, to apply Whew, to be right. on the Des Moines Fire Department, but you will teach them the skills yeah. and uh, run them through the paces. Now, how long do we have to apply to become uh, a member of the Des Moines Fire Department? The applications are open through February 6th at 5 p.m. Okay, that's now, not that far away. No, that's not quick. that far away, but I just want to remind people that uh, firefighters are all shapes and sizes. They come from all different backgrounds and they have all their own story mm -hmm. and we want all of that we're the place that you want to apply your your great compassion and your passion to yeah. make a difference and stand in the gap for people and Absolutely. John how many people are we looking to hire well uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 to 20 oh, wow. still, it's a lot it's a lot wow. this is a this is a, a, a big opportunity and, and we're excited to meet new people that want to join oh us my God. okay okay I think I'm I like gonna, this one the gonna, best gonna, I like the cutting tool I have here a, so a few we, we, we're we still think, have to keep working on right. building we're some muscles apply. here. Sounds good. You're in. Thank Ooh. you, buddy. Yes, sir. Appreciate it so much. And uh, Fire Chief, thank you so much. You for You guys are wonderful. Thank, thank you. You. Uh, you can make a difference <laughs> in our community. Make sure you check out an opportunity to apply to be a part of our Des Moines Fire Department open house next Saturday. Go check it out. We'll have all those details on our website as well. We are Iowa.com and Iowa Live on Facebook. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah, You're I'm going to cut the bottom off of this. <laughs> <laughs>